Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at selectors in Android styles. So just to recap quickly, I've got a application here that kind of demonstrates a list in Android and each of these separate items is configured by this XML here. So, um, sorry, not this XML. Let's take a look. Layout this message item. Here we go. So, uh, if this ever opens, my computer's suddenly being very slow. But here we go. So, this XML configures a single item in my list, and originally I hard coded colors into this. But what I then did was I put the different colors into a style sheet, which is here, custom list styles XML. This has a bunch of styles in. And then each of the styles has a name, such as subject, list background, and title. And in my list message item XML, I then use those styles to style the items as appropriate, like this. And here's the one that styles the background. And within the style sheet itself, if we go to custom list styles, all you do is you take the names of things that you want to change, for example, Android text size or Android background or text color, and set the values for them in these items. And one style can select a whole bunch of these things. And if you don't specify a parent for your style, which none of these have a parent, then you will get basically, with a few details, missing out a few details, you'll, you'll get basically the default file the, the default style for your theme, for your device, sorry, as the parent style. So that's just a really quick recap of what we're doing. Because what we're doing now is going to build on this a little bit. Because the problem here is that when I click the item, because we've set the colors on it, we've set the background of each list item in particular by setting the style of the linear layout, they don't flash when you click on them and would like some feedback to say that we've clicked on something on a particular list item. And to achieve that, what we need is a selector. And a selector is basically a way of specifying a color that is going to be different depending on what's actually happening in your user interface. So at the moment, in my style, for example, let's take a look at, if I look at the list message item XML, which formats each item, the background of this linear layout, which contains the icon and my two text items here, so each linear layout contains one of these items, It's the, the background of it is set using this list background style, and that style is in custom list styles, and it is here, it's this style, um, and I'm setting this item here, the Android background item. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to change this to a selector. This is black. This is the color black and I'd like to change it to a selector that will change depending on whether I've just pressed the item or not. So to do that I need to click res here and go to new Android XML file and I need a new... now this is the bit that I always forget but I need, um, let's see, new values I think it is and uh, I need to change, in fact, let's just take a look. Yeah, I think it's new values, or is it new drawable? Here we go, it's new drawable, that's what I need. So I need to create an, a new Android XML file, select the resource type to drawable, and then I need to say that the root element here is going to be selector. So as long as you've got the word selector in your head, you can try different options as I just did and finally find the right one. So you need the selector to be the root element. And I'll give this a name. Let's call it list background. Let's call it just list background actually, that will be fine. And I'll click finish. And let's take a look at this list background XML which has now appeared in the drawable folder. So it's got the selector root tag and if I place my cursor in here and use the autocomplete control space, I can create an item. And 
if I've got the cursor within the first item tag and I use control space now these are a bunch of different states that Android widgets can have and I want to have a particular colour for if my list item is pressed so I'm going to go to Android state pressed here and I'm going to use control space again and select true in there and in here I can have a well let's do control space with my cursor between these two tags and what I need in fact is a colour so let's go to colour here and control space again and I'll say Android colon colour here and control space actually the control space is no use to me now now I can actually type a colour finally so I'll type hash this is how you define colours if you recall and let's have maximum red FF and half of green and none of blue so that will be an orange colour and let's have another item here as well so I'll click down here and add another item and I'll leave out I won't have a state for this item I'll just leave it blank so that this will be the default colour of my list background list item background and putting the cursor in between this these two item tags and using control space I can create a colour again and control space again and select Android colon colour and let's set this to black so hash and one two three four five six zeros and I'll do control shift F to format this so the way these are actually read is that um, your Android will just work down from the top so and it will find the first one that matches your item so it will it will look and say okay is the item pressed if it is okay I'll use this color otherwise I will carry on down the list and then if the items not pressed it will say okay this doesn't match my item because state pressed is not true for my item so let's have a look at this one well this can match anything as long as it's some kind of widget so I'll apply this value for the color in this case so this is my selector which basically just supplies a different color depending on whether your item is pressed or whether it isn't it's just in some other state anything other than pressed is pressed equal to true basically and if this seems at all complicated by the way I recommend just doing this yourself um, and it will become a lot simpler when you sort of type it in it is a little bit convoluted but it's, it's not too bad it's not rocket science you just have to remember what goes where and now I've got this selector let's go to uh, custom list styles here and for the background that I'm setting on my list item and I'm using that style if you recall here for my linear layout there's my list background style on my linear layout for the entire item so in my style for list background I'm going to change this hard-coded color black get rid of that use control space and I'm going to select drawable and I'm going to go to list background the reason it's drawable is because my list background XML the selector that I just created is in the drawable folder where it has to be and that's why we need this at drawable sign and this background is the name that I gave to this XML file containing my selector so finally if I click run now and if you get any errors what will happen is you'll, you'll get probably your application and your emulator will say or on your phone will say uh, it's been forced to stop or sorry the application stopped or something like that and you'll probably see some red text down here but then just go to DDMS and you'll see red text like this I think this is from a previous run with a bit of luck and not this run and then you need to look at this really carefully and look for some look for what the error is and try to find some reference some mention of the XML file that it's actually in but start from the top and read very slowly down and you should find what you're looking for let's take a look so this looks okay so that error was just from a previous run and now if I click my list items you can see that they my selector is invoked and they click they um, flash orange when I click them so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding